Gentlemen, I'm Greg Scott from Alliance Defending Freedom. Alliance Defending Freedom, along with uh, uh, co-counsel, with, uh, with lead counsel Cooper and Kirk, defended the constitutionality of uh, Proposition 8 here at the Supreme Court. Uh, we've got short remarks from a couple of uh, a couple of the key players on that legal team. First, Austin Nimix, senior counsel at Alliance Defending Freedom. Then Andrew Cunio, general counsel for ProtectMarriage.com, and then uh, chairman of ProtectMarriage.com, Ron Prentice. Uh, following their remarks, uh, we will be available for indiv individual interviews if you'd uh, like to have them. Thank you. Good morning again. My name is Austin Nimix, last name N, as in November I M O C K S, senior counsel with Alliance Defending Freedom, and we are the uh, co counsel defending Proposition 8 in the Hollingsworth case. Uh, we're disappointed about the Supreme Court's decision on standing, but we are happy that Proposition 8 does remain the law of the state of California. Uh, as many are aware, unless struck down by an appellate court, uh, an initiative uh, by the citizens of California is the law of California, and it remains the law of California in light of the Supreme Court's ruling uh, striking down and vacating the Ninth Circuit's decision. Uh, the proponents of Proposition 8 and the legal team defending it will continue to defend Proposition 8 uh, unless and until there is an appellate court decision from a court with jurisdiction that strikes it down. And we do uh, hope, we, uh, expect and believe that the officials of the state of California will continue to honor Proposition 8 and enforce it as the law of the state of California. Thank you. And now, excuse me, I'm going to introduce uh, Andy Cunio. Andy Cunio is general counsel for ProtectMarriage.com, uh, the organization defending Proposition 8. Good morning. Just to echo those remarks and to say uh, specifically um, that it's important to understand today's ruling has completely nullified the Ninth Circuit's ruling against Proposition 8. That precedent has now been wiped away by the Supreme Court. So there is currently today no appellate court decision uh, invalidating Proposition 8, and we remain committed to the continued enforcement of Proposition 8 until there is a, a statewide order saying otherwise in California. Uh, we have Ron Prentice, our chairman, who would uh, just like to make a, a brief comment as well. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the uh, committee for Prop 8, Legal Defense Fund, and ProtectMarriage.com, we're just grateful to the people of California for the work that they've done. Hundreds of thousands of people walking and talking about the meaning and purpose of marriage in California and across the country. I'm grateful to Chuck Cooper, to Alliance Defending Freedom, to Andy Bruno for his general counsel help. We're grateful for all that we've done. We recognize that this has uh, taken in place since the day after Prop 8 passed on November 4th, 2008, and it continues. Unfortunately, we're grateful for the opportunity to protect and defend marriage and the people of California as well.